Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn all about a 404 page not found on WordPress. We will also learn how to design a custom 404 page on WordPress. So let's take a look what I will cover today. 404 page not found WordPress is one of the very popular search terms on the internet. So we will cover this topic today. First, we will learn what does 404 page not found mean? Then what causes the error 404? What is the purpose of this? Why do we need a proper 404 page? And the relationship between 404 page and user experience. And last but not least, how to design your custom 404 page on WordPress. So let's get started. Before I start, let me introduce myself. This is Jamal, a full stack developer specialized in WordPress. I have 12 years of experience. If you need any help with the digital transformation of your business, then please feel free to reach me out by clicking the link on the description. Okay, so let's go with the first question. What does a 404 page not found mean? Let's say you are trying to visit a website with the slug page URL and it returns this 404 page not found. It is because there is no content now with the slug page URL on this website. Take Google as an example. So this is the 404 page on Google. So it means during a visit to a website, your web browser was successfully connected to the host as known as the website server, but it was unable to show the resources that you were trying to see. It's not always a web page. It could be any missing files. For example, it could be an image, it could be a CSS file, or it could be a JS file. Okay, so moving to the next question. What causes the error 404 on WordPress? This is the default WordPress 404 error. On WordPress, it is simply a page view and shows when the page user looking for doesn't exist for some reason. Well, the reason could be the webmaster deleted the page or changed the page URL without proper redirection. But remember, if this error constantly shows on all your WordPress site's URL, then normally it is something wrong with your WordPress site's permalink. Saving the permalink again from settings and going to permalink should fix this site-wide issue. So what is the purpose of a custom 404 page on the website? The simple answer is, by showing this, we tell users that the page you are looking for doesn't exist. From this page, we also direct users to the other pages and help them engage properly. So the next question, why do we need a proper 404 page design? A 404 page with proper instructions is crucial for a website. Let me answer why. Imagine you landed on a website, maybe from search results, and found the page doesn't exist. In this situation, you become confused, right? So now a 404 page design with the right instruction can help you overcome this situation. For example, a 404 page like this. It means with a perfect 404 page design, you will have a clear idea and can decide what you should do next. Now we will know the relationship between 404 page and user experience. Take the previous example. With a 404 page view like this, your prospective customer will obviously get a better user experience when browsing your website because they have all the information what they should do next. And a better user experience means better brand value and conversion. A lot of website owners do not even bother to put a proper 404 on the website. But nowadays, when so many businesses are online, you are just behind your competitors if you do so. When it comes to user experience, a 404 page not found gives user a clear idea. It helps people navigate through your website and create a good impression of your business. We are now almost end of the video. Let's now create our custom 404 page on the WordPress. So this is our default WordPress 404 and we will convert it something like this. Please note, I'm creating this using latest WordPress block theme. With classic theme, the procedure is different. So from the dashboard, let's go to appearance and then click on editor. Now let's click on this drop down where all the templates list available. You need to click browse all templates. Now you will see all the template list. 
you just need to click the 404 page template so this is the admin view of the 404 page template now let's click on the 404 text and then click on the top right settings so now we will change this 404 with a clear message for example let's resize this text and replace with something like this so it's now a very clear message let's also replace this small text with this and here you see i also put a link to the home page it means user can navigate to the home page as well so the message is now very clear it means a better user experience now let's click on the whole block and then apply a background for example this background and then also maybe 100 pixel padding and also click save and then again click save the page is saving so now if we go to the front page and then refresh then let's see yeah now we have a beautiful 404 page not found compared to the previous one and it is obviously a better user experience we provided so this is just an idea but obviously you can change it according to your needs so here we go we just created a custom 404 page on the wordpress i hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next video till then take care